Another Republican who saw the document, Congresswoman Nancy Mace of South Carolina, says it proves Biden sold out our nation. Biden was asked about her remarks earlier. The bribery allegation, Congresswoman Nancy May says there's damning evidence in the FBI file that you sold out the country. Do you have a response to the congressional Republicans? Where's the money? I'm joking. Mr. President, Mr. I trust President, the Congress is doing a bunch of malarkey. Oh my goodness, it's so not funny. He's joking. Actually, though, the president asked a key question. Where is the money? And when, and when will Republicans use their full power to find out where it went? It's remarkable that just hours after Republicans made this finding, Biden's own Justice Department would indict Biden's leading opponent in 2024. It's unprecedented. Congresswoman Nancy Mace joins me now. Well, first of all, you shook up the trees down on Capitol Hill today, and the president had to answer to what you said. Your initial reaction to the indictment. Well, this is this is unprecedented. What I am feeling tonight, and I want to I want to be very clear here. Donald Trump and I have had our ups and downs. I've been very clear about over the, that over the last couple of years. But I want the American people to know, to make no mistake, this is the executive branch tonight trying to take out their number one opponent for the presidency of the United States in 2024. And they they have one standard for Donald Trump and another standard for everybody else. Uh, in this thing. And if you look at the documents that President Biden had in his possession in his garage and in thousands of bo boxes and God knows where across the country in places that we don't even know of yet, uh, Hillary Clinton having the server in her bathroom at her home with classified information on private email servers, everyone's held to a different standard but Donald Trump. And that's wrong. And I do believe tonight that Joe Biden just secured Donald Trump's nomination for Republicans in 2024. You do. Why do you say yes. that? Well, looking at the way that they're treating him in one way versus ev versus everybody else, Biden, every time that Biden comes under the microscope, every time we show corruption by Joe Biden and his family, there's an indictment on Donald Trump. And when you look at the standard that he mm -hmm. has, it's a double standard. It's a, it's a second tier, d a double standard of justice in this country. And what the American people want, they want everybody to be treated the same. And, you know, Donald Trump's no fan of mine. He primaried me last year. So I'm not a shill, but I see this and I see how unfair it's been. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I just can't believe this is happening. And I said this two days ago. Uh, Harris, I said that this was going to happen on the day that we either in, that we either held in contempt Christopher Ray with the FBI or we got access to those documents. You were right. And what I, I and, I, and it, I predicted it. It came true. You just this is the banana re, banana republic. I just cannot believe that this is what's actually happening. He's trying to take out his political opponents using the executive branch. That's what this is. All right, let's do the due diligence now to balance the scales. Mm -hmm. You have seen that FBI document, which, by the way, just to remind the audience. First, they couldn't find it. The director of the FBI yeah. said, hmm, we can't locate that. And then they did. And you're welcome to come over to the FBI and take a look at a redacted one. So come to our house to look at the stuff that's kind of there. And then it was finally Chairman Comer showed, flexed his muscle. And he said, contempt of Congress, punishable by prison. You're going to give us what we have, what you have rather. Today, you got to see that. What did you see? What's in that document? Well, what I saw today was a very credible, very legitimate uh, a, a, a source of information that showed bribery with Joe Biden and his son, Hunter Biden. The details and information that we saw was more than five million dollars. And uh, it, it, each it was five million dollars each in this in this document. And what we saw was information. I have more questions tonight than I have answers for the FBI. I want to know mm -hmm. if it was investigated, where they are in the investigation, how they are investigating it. Did they subpoena emails? Did they look at bank records? Are they looking at the bank records, not only of the Biden family members, including Joe Biden and his son Hunter? Are they looking at the bank records of the dozens and dozens of shell companies? Because there's a reason, and they bragged about it in this document. They said it would take 10 years to find, to find the paper trail, find the money trail, but it wow. exists. Um, and it, we need to look at the bank records. I talked to Oversight Committee today and, and Chairman Comer. We need to subpoena more bank records. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to the Treasury and look at the suspicious activity reports and compare the information that we had then with the information we have now. Um, it, it's really bad. And it's the kind of thing, whether you're Republican or Democrat or not, if, if this isn't corruption, if this isn't against the law, then it should be. We need to change the laws. 
real quickly, um, I mentioned that the the time is is running short. I mean, this is this is evidence now tonight with this indictment of a former president um, that that you may not have the kind of time that that you've had up until now to slow roll whatever you're finding in the investigation. What kind of pressure does this put on Republicans to get the evidence and speed up a timetable? Well, I want to make sure I know that the timetable is short with 18 months until the election, but I also want the American people to know that we're going to be methodical, that we're going to be thoughtful, that we're going to do this the right way, regardless of party. And look, you're talking to someone, Harris. I have held Republicans in contempt for not showing up to Congress. I want to make sure that we do it right. We do it in a constitutional way. And if the FBI won't do their job, we're going to do it for them. But I want to make sure that we get mm -hmm. it right. We follow the facts in a methodical and thoughtful and factual manner, and we give the American people the truth and let them decide. I do want to put this out here. You don't really have 18 months because you can bet Democrats are going to early vote. And some of those people are going to start at, like, the beginning of September. The time <laughs> is short. Uh, Congresswoman Mace, it is a pleasure to have you on and get your perspective and, and talk about what happened simultaneously with former President Trump being indicted. Thank you very much. Thank you, Harris.